Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the PyTorch Conference 2024. We're absolutely thrilled to have you here, and we've got an incredible lineup for the next two days, packed with innovation, insights, and inspiration. But before we dive in, I'd like to take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who has helped made this event possible. Starting with our sponsors, we would like to extend our big thank you to all of you, especially our Diamond sponsors, AMD, Cloud Native Computing Foundation, IBM, Intel, Lightning AI, and Meta. And our Platinum sponsors, ARM, Google, Lambda, and NVIDIA. Also, a big shout out goes out to our program committee who has worked tirelessly behind the scenes to curate the outstanding sessions that you'll be experiencing over the next two days. And of course, we cannot forget our events team whose incredible dedication has brought everything to life. So please, let's give a well-deserved round of applause to everyone who has made this conference possible. All right, if you're that person who's been asking everyone around you for the Wi-Fi password, no judgment, but I've got a life hack for you. Just take your badge, flip it over, and voila, you'll have the Wi-Fi info and a QR code to the schedule. We have a really great venue for this year's, this year's conference, very unique, uh, the Fort Mason Center for Arts and Culture. This event is being held in two buildings on two separate piers. Right now, we're in the Festival Pavilion on Pier 3, where all keynotes will be held along with the sessions for Breakout Room A and Breakout Room B. If you wander over to Pier 2, uh, also known as the Gateway Pavilion, you'll find the Expo Hall and Breakout Room C, uh, the Cowell Theater. It is also the home to the registration area and our conference staff who can help you with all of your needs. And most importantly, if you're in search of caffeine, food, a cozy lounge spot, or want to take a look at the job board, the Gateway Pavilion is the place to be. So now that you have uh, a bit of orientation around uh, the event space, let's talk about event highlights. So we've been eagerly anticipating this event and we're thrilled to share all the incredible highlights lined up for you for these next two days. You can look forward to a lot of insightful keynotes, expert panel discussions, and an amazing roster of keynote speakers. And one of our most exciting additions to this year, the Startup Showcase. Additionally, we'll be showcasing the PyTorch documentary, which debuted earlier this year in Paris. It will be running on a loop in the Expo Hall. The Sponsor Showcase opens daily at the end of keynotes. This is where you can meet all of the sponsors, find out about new technologies, projects, employment opportunities, and much, much more. Also, don't miss out on our sponsor scavenger hunt. For, uh, for a chance to participate and win, you can pick up your scavenger hunt card at registration, and raffle drawings will take place daily at 3.45 p.m. We have the Women in Non-Binary PyTorch Lunch, sponsored by Google, which is today at 12.10 p.m. in the Gateway Pavilion, Gallery 2. It's open to all attendees who identify as women or non-binary, and no pre-registration is required. You can just drop in. And the day does not end with breakout sessions. We have our, our attendee welcome reception sponsored by Lightning AI and will feature drinks, snacks, and great conversation. It will be located in the sponsor showcase in the Gateway Pavilion and starts today at 5.30 p.m. To make the welcome reception even that more awesome, uh, we will also have the poster sessions in the same space. We have over 36 posters this year from some of the brightest minds in the PyTorch community. So please come out and vote on your favorite poster. The winner will be announced during the day two welcome keynotes. And don't forget to share your experience. Uh, whether it's an exciting keynote, a new connection, or a great moment at the event, make sure to post your updates on social media and tag them with the hashtag PyTorchConf so we can amplify your highlights with the community. Now let's take a brief moment to talk about the PyTorch Foundation and why it's such a key driver of innovation in open source and AI. As many of you know, the foundation was established as a vendor neutral entity in 2022 to support and steward the PyTorch ecosystem, ensuring it remains open, accessible, and community driven. 
The Foundation's mission is not just about being a neutral home for the PyTorch framework, but also about fostering collaboration, research, education, and the growth of the ecosystem, making sure that everyone from startups to large enterprises have the resources they need to thrive. We also work closely with industry leaders, academia, and the open source community to ensure that PyTorch continues to evolve and scale to meet the demands of the next generation of AI technologies. And with ongoing contributions and new tools from the PyTorch community, the future of PyTorch looks brighter than ever. Back in 2022, the PyTorch Foundation was supported by six founding members. Fast forward to two years later, and now we have 12 premier members and a growing list of general and associate members. And as the PyTorch family continues to grow, we are pleased to announce that ARM has recently joined the PyTorch Foundation as a premier member. So let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible growth of the PyTorch conference over the past two years. In 2022, we were a small co-located event with NeurIPS with just over 300 attendees running a one-day event with two tracks. By 2023, we had grown to over 600 attendees and expanded to four tracks over the course of a day. We introduced new features like the poster res reception, which added even more opportunities for collaboration and learning. Now in 2024, we've taken it to a whole new level. We've received over 16, actually 1,700 registrations as of this morning, more than four times the number from two years ago. This year's event spans two days with three tracks and includes exciting additions like the Startup Showcase and two new mini summits. This growth is a testament to the power of the PyTorch community and the growing importance of PyTorch in the overall AI ecosystem. We couldn't be more thrilled to see how far we've come and this is really just the beginning. It's an understatement to say that PyTorch has seen explosive growth in the last couple of years. Let's take a quick look at the incredible growth and impact of the PyTorch project. Over 15,000 organizations have made contributions and 60% of AI research implementations are choosing PyTorch. On GitHub, there are over 600,000 repos leveraging the framework with more than 20% year-over-year growth. So far this year alone, we've seen over 6,000 commits and we have 110 active projects in the PyTorch ecosystem. These numbers reflect a vibrant and constantly evolving community, pushing the boundaries of AI innovation. There are now more than 17,000 organizations that are actively using PyTorch in research, development, and in production. If you attended last year's conference, you would have no doubt seen Joe Spisak's PyTorch history timeline. We have some additions for 2023 and 2024, including the release of PyTorch 2.0, 2.1, along with ExecuTorch last year. And this year, the release of PyTorch 2.4, along with Torch Tune, Torch Chat, Torch Titan, which is in pre-release. PyTorch is a global community with contributions continuing to grow from around the world, with 59 different countries contributing to the project just this year alone. PyTorch has seen a substantial increase in contributions in 2024. Over 3,500 individuals and over 3,000 organizations are currently contributing to PyTorch. Compare that with just two years ago when there were only 200 organizations contributing. And it's not just PyTorch core that has seen explosive growth. The PyTorch ecosystem has continued to grow, having added an additional 20 ecosystem tools in the past year, for, an over, for now for a total of 110 projects. So what's next for the PyTorch Foundation? We're excited to expand presence across industry conferences, and we're collaborating closely with open source program offices to ensure that PyTorch remains the leading machine learning framework in the world. Our focus is on making sure that the industry has all the resources and support necessary to leverage PyTorch to its fullest potential. We're also looking to grow the PyTorch ecosystem by welcoming more cutting edge tools and projects, ensuring that developers and researchers have access to the best in class tools, libraries, and resources. In addition, we're thrilled to be developing a PyTorch ambassador program designed to empower community leaders and amplify their contributions. As a part of our commitment to education, we're working on PyTorch training courses and certifications. This will equip the next generation of AI developers and researchers with the skills they need to excel in the field of AI. 
And before wrapping up, I want to, make this, make, to take this moment to express our deepest gratitude to everyone in the PyTorch community. Whether you're writing code, testing new features, reporting bugs, crafting documentation, or offering support in the forums, you are the backbone of everything we do. Your, de your dedication and collaboration are what drive the innovation and success of this platform. We couldn't do it without you. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for your commitment, your contributions, and for making PyTorch what it is today.